Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see one of the interesting topic which is PID controller. In this topic we will cover the basic of PID controller with and Siemens TIA configuration with live tuning. Okay. Now what is PID controller and where we are going to use the PID controller and what is the terms of PID and uses of that PID controller. PID and advantage of PID controller and finally we will see the Siemens S7500 with TIA configuration for PID controller and tuning okay let's let's begin what is PID controller PID controller is also known as proportional integral derivative controller it is widely used in the industry TL purpose for controlling the process variable like temperature, flow, level, pressure and speeds. Okay. Where we are going to use these applications? Okay. PID controller finds in various applications in uh, various uh, industrial purposes, building automations, motion control systems, consumer electronics. In industrial process uh, such as measuring the temperatures, furnace, pressures in reactors, flow rates, pipelines, etc. If you go for building automations, we, it will be mainly used to control the temperature in B, BMS systems through HVAC systems. If you go for motion control systems such as regulatory speeds and positions of robots, motors and other automated machineries, and also we are using in other applications such as in the cars okay remove direct uh, there is cruises control systems in the car it will be automated through pid controller and also the temperature controls in refrigerators houses for uh, uh, acs etc you can see some examples here see here if you see here the plc in the first example the plc is connected with uh, PID controller and the PID controller is connected with the pump and the flow transmitter. Okay. If you go for the second example, the AC is connected with thermostat and you have the term temperature sensors. From the as per the temperature sensors, as per the set points, the process value will be changed. Based on that, the PID controller will work on the temperature sensors in the in the houses and other places in the BMU systems. Let's go with other uh, We will see now for the PID controller. Okay, what is PID? Proportional. What is proportional? Proportional which responds immediately to the current error and larger error results in the higher output corrections. This provides a quick but reactive response. If you go for integral term, the address for long term error by accumulating the error over time. It helps us to eliminate any remaining st steady state error. Okay, with the difference between the set points and the process value. And if we go for derivative, it anticipates the future errors by considering the rate of change of the error. It helps us to reduce the os oscillation or overshoot during the control. And other things, uh, if you see here, the example, when uh, you already connected with command and see this is the output of the plant. Okay, the sensor is connected in between. Whenever you are giving the value, uh, uh, the command is coming from either uh, transmitter or any other instruments. From the, It is the input value and it will be measured to the output. From there, you are using the PID controller, the proportional, integrated, and derivative. Okay. The, see, you are taking the set point of the sensor. It will check with the process value. If it is any difference, here it will equate and it will go to the PID. From there, as per if you see in the graph, you can see here. It will be saturated based on the KP, KI, and KD. This is the thing we are telling here, a sensor continuously monitor the process value. This measures the value compared to the desired set points. 
the difference between the set points and the process value which the error is calculated and the PID controller factors in three terms based on the error to determine the output set to the actuator. Now if you see the advantage of PID controller, it is simple design and operation and it is in various control applications, effective and robust performance even with the changing the operating conditions and relatively easy to tune the optimal response. Overall, the PID control is a fundamental tool for regulating the process variable in numeric application. This ability to combine the proportional integral and derivative actions makes a versatile and valuable components in the control systems. Okay, now we will continue the practical configuration of PID controller by using Siemens TIA portal. That sections we will cover how to add the PID controller, how to configure the parameters and online tuning. Let's begin with that uh, application now. Let's open the TIA application. In this application, uh, I, I have already uh, S7500 series uh, to you. See here, I have already analog output controllers also. So based on that controller of that some signals, I'm going to make a PID now for that. See now, well, if you go here in the application, uh, see here in the main, I already have the complete application of one of the process control application. See here, I have already all the applications from here. Just what I will do now, I will go to add one of the, I will add one new block and I will explain you how to make the PID controller. Okay. And if there is many sections here, okay, main, main filter feed, sand filters, and also RO start stop, lower sections, high pressure pumps, start stop, and also flushing pumps, reject pumps, CIPs, acids, and also see a lot of process control here. So here I, we are going to add a new function. Okay, the PID here in this network. Okay, this function, uh, this one you need to be find the PID controller. No? From that, just click the right side. You have here, see if you click here in sections, you have base, favorites, you know already. Basics, you have some basic application. But for us, we need to go to technology. See if you see the extended instruction also, we have many. But the technology, we have the PID controller. See here. And here you have motion control, dynamics and time wave. Here you have three uh, PID controllers. One is compact PID. PID basic functions and auxiliary functions. Okay, for out of three, we need to select the compact because PID compact is very useful uh, and this is the one of the basic application which contains every all the functions. So you need to use this is universal PID controller. So you have to use this PID controller. And if you see you have help here, if you click, you can find the help also if you need to use. What we need to do now, this PID compact, you have to drag and drop in your network. That is in the ladder logic. Just I will drag and I will drop here. See. Once you drag, see it will ask you the PID number, manual or automatic. You can put the automatic no issue. Otherwise, you have to give the manual number for that. This is just for making numbering for sequence. Okay, once you added the PID, you can find here See if you make your commissioning, you have your commissioning mode also. So first, if you know your set points already you created, you can give directly. Otherwise, you have to give the set point value for your PID controller. For my case, just what I will do now, just I will enter the manual address because I will consider now under percentage speed or tank level under percentage or something. So what we will do now, we will give set point for 95. If it is reaching 95, it, it should be 95. So I will give 95 here. And for the input or input a yeah, PER, you have to use any one of the value. Or input underscore permit. Okay. Uh, if you, and I will just for temporary purpose, I will enter this input. And if you track, you can see here a lot of functions. 
but this all almost it's having the default so you don't need to use it is like a additional options you can use this one all the functions okay this is not required in our case so just add here output if you are if you need to add the this value directly to your analog output you can put the analog output link here directly see this one it's created as percentage db 108 where you will find this one if you go left side you have technology objects the technology object once you created the pid it will automatically create your pid db same db number with pid compact see if you click the configuration you have here lot of functions here controller type see here if you click here you can find temperature pressure flow force power area viscosity density etc so you have to select that uh, particular function if you need or you can put general and also you can put the set mode manual or auto and if you go for input output parameter you can find here input or input pair see this is the and for output also similar to that you have to select any one of the input or output out of these three okay so this is the first step you have to configure controller type after that input output parameter from here you have to see you can select the process value also once it's go to online okay and now for my case just what i will do now for the controller type i will select pressure it will come automatically see here power uh, anything so what is the pressure for what is the type for uh, units it will come all the types and if you see here set mode you have many options also if you go to the process value settings see i will make here and you can see here that low range and high range so you have to set your limit see high pressure uh, and if you go for process value scaling you can set the scaling also okay so this is uh, i will keep now for, uh, everything as default if i go for value limit it is the same function it is separately uh, have that same things in the value setting or you can make in the subdivision you can select that one also in the advanced setting you can give the warning limits minimum maximum limits and if you see here in the process monitoring limits output value limits and pid parameters so you each functions have subdivisions so if you select this any one of the functions example output value limit see here it's already have the default value so better you need to be not change this one until it is not required to change if you go for pid parameter also see here you can give your value this is the default value proportion gain one integral action 20 derivative action zero and delay tire delay coefficients 0.2 like this if you need to change you can give otherwise see here the controller structure also you have PID or PI only. So based on your requirement, we can use these functions. See if I go now online, if you click this monitor all, you can find the online value also. This one I will show, I will show soon. See here, if you click this parameter view of the PID controller, you can find almost all the, see here, if you find all the parameters you can find in the right side, see here. And if you click all the parameter, you can find everything. If you need to check one by one, like basic setting, process value settings, advanced settings, commissioning parameters, tunings, and other parameters, you can find also. Okay. So you have almost, see, if you see here, uh, we have a lot of uh, parameters. We have more than 100 parameters you can find from the PAD controller. Okay. So you and each one you can configure for your functional also. And if you go, this is for configuration. If you go for commissioning, if you double click the commissioning. See this, this here you can monitor your complete sampling value and you can see uh, and you can select now the color of your like sampling time starts st uh, for the tuning modes and also in the graph you can find see if you drag here you can find that graph okay currently it's not in the online so you can see here your current value where exactly it's going and you can see as per the tuning you can see your parameter and the this is the see here in the 
tuning status you can set the values set set values and the input values it will give you based on that it will give you the output value of your PID controller so this is the overview of the PID controller now we will go to the real time online section now I will connect with the online see now I the same application now I will check and I will go to online mode now once I click online it is connected with the PLC now it is going to connect now see now it is go you can see now it is connecting it's connected see all the IOS are connected sorry all the hardware are connected and you can see all it is green this means it's connected there is no error if I go to the uh, same place now see in the advanced where is that technology object see before the program blocks your technology object now if you click here see the if you double click the configuration see here it's all you can see now the parameter which we which we configured earlier in the project so you can see that value now see here measuring uh, commissioning you can find here the sampling values it's 0.3 and I, I have given started so see you can see now it will show some values uh, but uh, even if you need to make a pre uh, tuning mode you just give pre tuning mode and give start so it uh, then it will start your values here and see here the input value you can find 3.87 and output is zero because the set point is not set in this project see if you have if you make the set point based on the set point if for example i put three so it will be tuned based on the three okay now it is zero so it is the output also is coming zero same similarly for if you go for other product pump pressure also if you see here you can find the same things so you can see all the graphs see, now I am going to the product pump I given online and you can see the value here that it's not connected but for the post chlorination it's already connected and you can see some uh, value in the input but in the output we did not given because now it's connected with the plant i don't need to disturb the system so you can see this uh, how we are tuning like this so if you go for tu uh, tuning mode if you click pre pre tuning start and it will tune automatically okay and uh, as per that you can see the performance of the pid values and uh, this is the overview of the PID controller in the Siemens S7 uh, S7 series. Maybe you can use S7 1200 or 1500 controllers and you can make the tuning as per uh, we have the configuration communication based on that. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, for this basic of PID controllers and simulation with the TIA portal. If you need more videos related to the PID controller, kindly comment. Or if you need any other videos, kindly put in the comments so I can make as per that. Thank you.